What is going on guys? I'm the John Gasm and I'm coming at you today with the first episode of my brand new series, t now what is it called? TV Trivia. Now some of you guys may not find that catchy. It's actually pronounced TV Trivia, but when I say it, I'm gonna go TV Trivia. Kind of like a gangster would. I'm not necessarily a gangster, uh, but a rapper who's trying to make his words rhyme when they don't. Like when they get microwave to rhyme with sandals. Only in this case I'm trying to get the alliteration to flow a little bit better than it does. I don't know, I might end up changing the name altogether so this whole segment could be very pointless but it's my new series, that's the point. This series is going to be exactly like Secrets of Cinema or almost. Instead of sharing little known facts about your favorite movies, we're going to share little known facts about your favorite television shows. Now this isn't exclusive to cartoons, so if you guys have any suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Anything from Game of Thrones to Powderpuff Girls to Gossip Girl to The Golden Girls or NYPD Blue. For the pilot of this series though, I am talking about a cartoon because it's one of my favorite cartoons of all time, Courage the Cowardly Dog. The first fact I've got for you guys is about the old couple that takes care of Courage, Eustace and Muriel. Their names were actually taken from the television show Friends, as you guys know, another show that I love. Eustace and Muriel are actually the middle names of Ross Geller and Chandler Bing respectively. Being that that's one of my favorite shows of all time, had to throw that fact in there. Now despite watching the first couple of Courage the Cowardly Dog seasons on Netflix, here's something that I never noticed. Whenever Courage starts to take action to save Eustace and Muriel from whatever trouble is afoot, a variation of the Mission Impossible song plays. Now I can't show you guys a sample of the song because I don't have the rights to it, because why would I? But if you don't know what the theme sounds like, go YouTube it, then watch some episodes of Courage the Cowardly Dog, you might notice it. Because I'm a huge fan of thinking outside the box and not going with the traditional method of doing everything, I thought fact number three was pretty interesting. The show creator, John Dilworth, wanted to put a huge emphasis on audio effects for the series. He wanted to use unconventional and unique sound effects because so many other cartoons and shows and movies were just using the same stock sound effects over and over again. Dilworth wanted to use any music or sound that emphasized the situation, whether it was funny, exciting, scary, etc. Fact Fact number four is pretty interesting because it's a huge testament to how great the show was. After watching the pilot, Cartoon Network decided they wanted to give the series a full four season run. It went through the typical four seasons with 52 episodes without having a single threat of having it pulled off the air. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is actually pretty rare for television, especially for children's cartoons. Something else that's really cool that goes along with that is as the show came to a close in its fourth season, Dilworth actually had the opportunity to renew it and continue the series. But it was his opinion that four seasons was enough and that he didn't want to keep the show going until it wasn't good anymore. Now as somebody who loves conspiracy theories, and if any of you guys love conspiracy theories, this next fact is my absolute favorite. John Dilworth doesn't deny any of the fan theories that have ever been brought up for this show. That means that the theory that there's actually nothing unusual going on and we're just seeing events unfold from the perspective of a dog, or the theory that Courage is the guard dog of hell, could be true. It's all subject to interpretation and that's how Dilworth wanted it. And that, you guys, is the last fact that I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section down below. Hit that rate button if you want me to continue this series. Also, leave some suggestions for any other television shows you want me to talk about. Got links to my social medias in the description down below. Hit that share button if you know anybody else who's interested in Courage the Cowardly Dog. But more important than all of that, just realize how much I appreciate you guys coming around and hanging out today. Thank you so, so much for stopping by and stay fresh. Thank you.